Hi and welcome. This video will show you how you can use Clapier as a Google Form alternative for adding approvals to your application. Although Google Forms is a common choice for making simple forms, if you need to send submissions for approvals, it can get a little tedious. With Clapier, you can set approval mechanisms to your forms and have single or multiple levels of approval. Let's see how to do this with the help of an example. Here I have created a very simple version of an app for maintaining marketing activity. Once a user makes a submission, I would like an approval notification to be sent to relevant teams or managers for approval. To do this, we go to the design app and once you have finished creating your app, you can click on step 2 for configuration. If you need to know which submissions have been approved or not, you must first add statuses for your submissions. Once you click on status, on the right hand panel you will be able to give different types of statuses. So you'll just click on add status and if you want to change it to maybe approved or rejected, you can mention them here. I can click on add status again to type in rejected. So in this way you can add multiple statuses as per your requirements. Now I'll just save this. After giving the statuses, we go to step 3 that is workflows. Workflows is important to automate your process flow of your app. When I click on add step, I get the various nodes I can use to automate the app and I'll select the approval node. You can configure this approval node on the right hand panel. Under the approvers option, you can list the email IDs of the approvers who needs to get the approval notification. Next we have allowed approval statuses. Once you click on this, you can select the type of statuses that the approver can select. So I'll select approved and rejected. Then you can configure the subject for your email to be sent as well as the body, just like a regular email. Now I'll click on save. Now let's see how this approval node works. For that we will need to make a submission. I'll go to app home. Here I'll fill in the details of this app to make a submission. After clicking on submit, you can view all your submissions under the submissions tab. You can see that the status of the submission just says submitted and if you would like to change the status into either approved or rejected, then the approver who has received the email notification will have to make the changes. So let me go to my inbox. Over here you can see I have received an email notification which says submission pending for approval. When I click on this link over here, it will redirect me to the submissions page of the app. So over here on the right hand panel, I can click on submitted and you can see the different statuses that I had mentioned earlier. So I can either approve or reject a submission. Click on update and you can see the status now says approved. If you had noticed previously, there were two submissions made to this app. But when I had clicked on the email notification, you can only see the submission in which I need to approve or reject. To the users who need to approve or reject submissions, you will have to give relevant permissions to them. If you want to give relevant permissions for them to approve or reject a submission, you can go to design app and under the distribute option, which is step five, click on user access, then select users on the right hand panel. You can type in the email address of the user who needs to approve. So for example, if I want Deepika, to be able to make approvals, then under the permissions model, I can give her reviewer access. You can also have multi-level approvals if you require. Let's see how to do that. I'll go back to step 2 of configuration and then click on status. Now if you have level 1 managers to approve as well as level 2 managers, again depending on your requirement, you can change the status over here. I can add some more statuses here. For example, if I want the level 2 managers to approve, I can type in L2 approved. So first I will change this to L1 approved and L1 rejected. Now I'll click on add status again for L2 approved and L2 rejected. Now I'll save this. Now we go to step 3 of workflows. For the approval node that we have configured, I will first change the step name into L1 approval but you can give any name as per your requirement again. I will not make any changes to the approvers and I will keep allowed approval statuses as L1 approved and L1 rejected. Since this is just an L1 approval, I do not need L2 approval and rejection. Under email subject, I can change this to submission pending for L1 approval. Again you can change this according to your requirement as well as making changes to the body text. Now I click on save. Now if you want to set a condition such as if the L1 manager has approved the submission and then only would you like a notification to be sent out to the L2 manager, then over here you can select the if node and on the right hand panel under condition you can type in at the rate status equals to L1 approved. So the status that you had given earlier as L1 approved only if the submission says L1 approved then you can go ahead with the next flow. 
So now if status is L1 approved, then I can send out another approval notification to the L2 manager. So I'll click on the plus symbol and select the approval node. On the right hand panel, I will change the step name to L2 approval. Under the approvers option, you can give in the email IDs for the L2 manager. For the sake of example, I will be giving in my email ID. Now under allowed approval statuses over here, I can select L2 approved and L2 rejected. Since this is an L2 approval, I do not need the L1 approval or rejection. Here under the email subject, I can change this to submission pending for L2 approval. Now I'll click on save. Now let's see how this process flow works. So I'll go ahead and make another submission in app home. Now I'll submit this and go to the submissions tab. Now you can see the submission that I have made over here. Now let's see how to change the status. So I will check my inbox for the approval notification. Over here you can see I have received the approval notification for L1 approval. When I click on this link, it will redirect me again to the submissions page and I will only be able to view the new submission. So now when I click on this, I can see only L1 approved and rejected. You do not see L2 approval and rejection because we have configured it as so. So now I can select L1 approved, select update and you can see the status has changed. Now as soon as the L1 manager has approved, it will trigger the workflow to check whether it has approved or not and if the status says L1 approved, then the L2 manager will receive the approval notification. So let's check that. So as you can see here, I have received an approval notification that says submission pending for L2 approval. Now I click on this link, again it will redirect me to the submissions page and when I click over here, it will only show me L2 approved and L2 rejected. So in this way you can set multi-level approvals. You can see the status has now changed to L2 approved. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the approvals node or any features in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.